This side is Nebraska. This side is Kansas. And we will be heading into Nebraska. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of different stuff in Nebraska. We're gonna go north for a little bit until we get to Kearney. And then we're gonna head west towards Wyoming. Excited to check out Nebraska and Kansas. It's been awesome. start our Nebraska part of the tour right here as we're entering from Kansas right here on 148 which becomes 112. We're going to turn left on 8 over to Steel City and then diagonally head up to Fairbury. Then we'll be heading straight west for a little while over to Hebron. We're going to take a quick little detour up to Belvedere as the Oregon Trail kind of went through the middle here and then back down and west. Rock Creek Station was a uh, stop along uh, the trail and the Pony Express. And uh, so this uh, historical site, they've kind of re, sorry, it's kind of muddy. I'm looking to watch my step here. But they've kind of re refurbished some old buildings or they've recreated some buildings, I guess. And some of them are authentic and some of them are kind of newer. But very cool to stop off and check out. As the Oregon Trail kind of went this direction along, there's the railroad right there, kind of along that way, we're gonna go through a bunch of little towns like this.
One of the common misconceptions uh, along the Oregon Trail is that a lot of the, the people who were heading west were killed by Native Americans. And, and actually, most, uh, most people died by disease, people that, that died along the way um, or died other ways. But um, there were some Native American attacks. And in this area, there, there, were, there was some uh, significant raids. And it was along the Oregon Trail where these settlements had set up. And it was during the Civil War, some of the, uh, the men were pulled to the east to fight in the Civil War. And so the Native Americans saw that as an opportunity to drive out some people that were on their land. And so there were uh, many towns that were raided by Native Americans through this area. Eventually, some of the uh, soldiers and men came back and uh, the, the raids calmed down. And this is a little pull out here along the Oregon Trail here. It kind of explains a little bit of that story. About to begin day three on the Oregon Trail and we are here in Hastings, Nebraska. This is the um, the old train station, well now it's an Amtrak station and um, you know all these little towns in Nebraska were built along the railroad which was built along the Oregon Trail and so even though a lot of these towns weren't developed until you know after the Oregon Trail they had a connection. Hastings was such a significant stop that it eventually became the third largest town or city in Nebraska because of it. And there were railroads, you know, and, and stops throughout the day and night and a very, very busy place. This is where Kool-Aid started, the invention of Kool-Aid. And the office is right across the street from uh, the train station. Today, we're going to get out onto the, the road, continue heading north until we get to Kearney, which was an important stop on the Oregon Trail and then start heading west, kind of paralleling uh, I-80 for a while. And, and our goal is to get to uh, North Platte, Nebraska. From Hastings, we're gonna head straight west for a little bit. We're gonna take a little quick stop here in Juniata and then head straight west all the way over to Minden. From Minden, we head north and we're gonna cross over the Platte River right here. And this is gonna be something we follow for quite a while. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna go into Kearney from this direction, but we're gonna backtrack a little bit and see Fort Kearney, and then we'll get back on I-30 and head west. First town I come to, uh, Juniata, I think that's how you might say it. Um, they're having a parade, <laughs> so I'm not able to go through town but uh maybe i'll get a little perspective from above and uh you could see, you know the line of people is kind of like what it probably was like during the oregon trail with a big line of wagons going down uh through the area Turns out it was the 150th anniversary of the founding of the town. I think all 748 people in town were either part of the parade or watching the parade.
Pioneer Village is this incredible display of uh, old authentic buildings and like a museum of transportation that has all kinds of, I mean, just it's crazy how much stuff is in there. It's just a cluttered mass of all kinds of stuff. I can't imagine uh, how much time it took to put this together. It's overwhelming and you need an entire day to really truly go through and check this out. Fort Kearney was um, created by the military to be kind of a safe, safe haven for westward travelers. So people on the Oregon Trail would stop here and um, stay the night. They would kind of re, kind of gather themselves and and get supplies and everything. And and uh, so this was kind of a, a big area or. It wasn't, it wasn't actually a big area, but it was an important area for um, people on the Oregon Trail to stop. They've kind of recreated what the fort um, maybe used to be like with some, some of the buildings here in the historical park. Oregon Trail continued to follow the Platte River and the pioneers could have been on this side, they could have been on this side, but it definitely followed right along. And so we're gonna stay on I-30 and then we're gonna head through multiple towns right along the railroad and right to the north of the Platte River.
landing day three and pulling into North Platte, Nebraska. Heading west on I-30 with all these little towns along the way, it was interesting how they were all very similarly set up uh, with the railroad on the left as you're heading west and the town on the right and starting to kind of just kind of open up a little bit. I feel like in the first couple of days there's been, you know, cities and more population and it does feel like it's starting to open up here as we get into the western part of Nebraska. So today I found a, I guess you could say a classic hotel and I'm not quite sure how nice it'll be but I wanted to try to stay in as many places like this as I could even though there are places that might be nicer. Uh, we'll be checking out, let's check out the hotel here in North Platte. 